how is it possible that I go down to the bottom of Nemo 33 in Belgium, which is 33 meters deep, without pinching my nose, without doing this. This video is about hands-free equalization. There are many techniques to do this. In this video I will discuss the technique that I am using and spoiler alert, it's all about swallowing. So if you want to know how to exactly do this, then this video is for you. Coming up. This video is all about hands-free equalization. We're gonna pop our ears, equalize the ears without pinching the nose. Now, this is an advanced technique, so if you're a beginner freediver, then this video is most likely not for you. You're welcome to watch anyway, but this is more for the advanced freediver and especially for making videos and taking pictures. It's so much cooler if you're on a picture without your hand in front of your face, you're covering your face, it doesn't look nice, you know, so the best pictures are always the ones in which you are not touching your nose. Now, in order to do so, you need to know how to hands-free equalize. Now, there are many techniques and I'm going to discuss the one technique that I use. It's actually the only technique that I know how to use. It's called swallowing. We all know how to swallow, but how exactly are we going to do this for the purpose of equalization. If you're new to this channel, my name is Gert Leroy, helping you master freediving. And honestly, when I started freediving, my life has simply changed for the better. Freediving gave me a space, a way to relax my mind and let go of all my tension. I have found my peace. And now I want you to find your peace through the practicing of freediving. So if you like the idea, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, so like I said before, there are different ways to hands-free equalize. I'm gonna talk today about how I do it that doesn't mean that there aren't any other ways. That doesn't mean that my way is the best way. And it also doesn't mean, unfortunately, just because it works for me, that it will work for you. But you gotta try to find out, right? By the way, guys, if you already know how to hands-free equalize, then let me know in the comments, how exactly do you do it? Do you use swallowing or some other technique? Let us know because this is a community. Lots of people are watching my videos now for which I'm very grateful. So everyone can learn from your input. Let us know in the comments. Now let's take a look at the footage again. Now important to notice is that I am going feet first. Now before you jump into the comments, no, this is not a method that only works feet first. But if you want to try it out, I recommend you trying it out feet first because it is so much easier. Why is feet first easier? Because the air that you need to equalize is automatically going up to your mouth and your throat and your ears because of gravity. Air wants to go up. So if you're feet first, that means that your chest and your throat and your mouth and your head, everything is above your lungs. It means that the air from your lungs automatically goes towards your head, which makes equalization way more easy. If you would turn yourself upside down, which means your head is down and your feet are up, the air is not going towards your mouth or your throat or your ears anymore. No, the air wants to go up, which is towards your feet, which is impossible, of course. So the air is going to get stuck in the lungs and it doesn't go automatically towards your oral and nasal cavity. And that's the place you want the air to be available. Now, another thing that is uh, important to mention is I'm free falling here and you don't necessarily have to free fall, of course, but you can see I'm going very slow. When you go slow, you have more time to equalize. If I would be going faster here, if I would be pulling myself down the line and go fast, it would be way more difficult for me to equalize the ears. The slower you go, the more you can relax and the more time you have to fully concentrate on your equalization. Okay, let's jump to the technical part now. What exactly am I doing? Okay, I'm swallowing. We all can swallow. We know how to do this, right? But how are we doing this in the water? So first of all, you want to make a little saliva in your throat that you can swallow down. I don't know about you, but I cannot swallow if there is nothing in here. So I need something. So what I'm going to do is create a little bit of saliva by doing this. I'm making the saliva until a little bit is available and then I'm simply going to swallow it. Look at my larynx here, it's going to go up and down, that's exactly uh, the movement of swallowing. So every time I swallow a little bit of saliva, I hear my ears popping. Those are the eustachian tubes that are going open, which makes the way free for the air that is available here to go towards your ears and equalize. Now coming back to the speed you're going down, if you're going too fast, you don't have time to every time after an equalization, form creates a little more saliva. It just goes too fast. So that's why I'm going slow. On the first, let's say 10, maybe to 20 meters, I don't really have to do this. I can make like a little almost 
unnoticeable amount of saliva and swallow. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I can just swallow without even making the saliva. It's only when I go deeper that uh, equalization becomes more challenging and then I have to really pay attention that there is something in here that I can swallow down. It is of extreme importance that you relax to the maximum. The deeper you go, the more you can get a little bit stressed. And if you are stressed, it's almost impossible to equalize hands-free, at least for me. If I'm a little bit tense, if I'm a little bit anxious about the depth I'm going to, then it's simply not going to work. The best dives are the dives in which I feel totally relaxed, totally confident, and then hands-free equalization works like a breeze. So probably, if you want to try this out, you should focus more on getting confident and focus more on feeling relaxed and feeling totally uh, in harmony with uh, the water around you then focusing on equalization because equalization is a byproduct of relaxation now we talk a lot about relaxation right in freediving yeah it's because it is so important so if you're not relaxed it's never gonna work another thing that might greatly contribute to your um, ability to equalize hands-free is the temperature of the water here at nemo 33 i'm without wetsuits i'm without weights i'm just wearing shorts because the water is just so warm i'm not exactly sure about the temperature but it's just it's just warm enough to go without wetsuit so if you're in cold water then for me at least equalization is always a bit more challenging so yeah temperature of the water might help so if you manage to equalize hands-free with your feet first then the next step is to try head first so let us take a look at a video that i shot a couple of years ago in the famous barracuda lake in coron in the philippines as you can see, I forgot to change into my swimming trunks. I was in a hurry. My apologies for this. So here I'm going down, no fins, and I'm not touching my nose. Head first. I'm doing exactly the same as what I just explained for my dive in Nemo 33. There is nothing different about this. Again, I am making saliva. Again, I am swallowing it down. Now, as far as I can remember, I don't think I've ever tried a 30 meter plus dive uh, head first, hands free. And I should try it actually to know if I can do this. Uh, this dive in the Barracuda Lake was probably uh, 15 to 20 meters, which is more than deep enough for shooting videos and, uh, and photos. So it definitely works, my method. Um, I'm just curious now to see if I can take this deeper than, uh, than 20 meters head first. Question of the day, what kind of equalization method you are using currently? Valsalva, Frenzel, or hands-free? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to know more about mastering freediving, then hit the round subscribe button here. And here I have a video about meditation techniques for freediving so you can relax even more and eventually equalize better. So go ahead and click on that. That's it, guys. See you next time. Peace.